<laughs> if you haven't noticed, the Democrats and their state media mouthpieces are very upset right now about Ron DeSantis and his banning of CRT-derived curriculums in the public schools. So as you may have guessed, there's been a ton of misinformation out there coming directly from Democrats and their state media about what's actually being banned here. Now, they're trying to make it out like it's history, but in reality, it's actually far-left ideological stuff. So they brought on former Secretary of Education Arne Duncan, who you may remember was great friends with Barack Obama, to demonize Ron DeSantis and just hyperbolically mislead about what exactly has been banned here. Okay, let's get your reaction first to the College Board releasing its official framework for the AP African American Studies course. This, of course, coming after Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis banned it from classrooms in the state. Okay, so right off the bat, they're misleading because Ron DeSantis didn't just outright ban these AP African American Studies classes. He actually gave the option for them to revise the classes and take out all the weird, culty, left-wing ideological stuff that's actually not historical or factual, and to take all of that out out and just leave in the history if you want to teach history and that's fine and you can keep the class so when they say that it's been banned outright that's actually not true and i'm going to dig in a little bit more to that uh right here in a minute well unfortunately you know governor sanders has been very very clear he has what just appears to be a white nationalist agenda and what, what i hate most is he just always attacks the most vulnerable whether it's ap african american history whether it's the lgbtq community whether it's immigrants he always attacks the most vulnerable. Oh, of course. Everything is white nationalist, racist, white supremacy, and of course, an attack. Anytime you criticize, critique, or scrutinize these people, they label it an attack. So right off the bat, he claims that this is an AP African American history class. It's not. It's an AP African American studies class that has nothing at all to do with history. Breitbart did a report on this, and I have to go to Breitbart because none of the other networks are honest about this and won't talk about what's actually in these classes. So uh, it's titled, AP Course Florida Rejected Includes Black Queer Studies and Reparations. Now, the Florida Department of Education is rejecting the AP African American Studies course over content. It contains a section on black queer studies as well as cultural appropriation and reparations and the quote, global influence of Black Lives Matter movement, asserting that the course itself is inexplicably contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value. Now, I have to agree, just based on the cultural appropriation class alone, if, if you're having a class in school, in high school, that is teaching you that certain groups of people aren't allowed to wear hairstyles of your culture that you are just, uh, I guess, declaring uh, your culture owns, um, you can't wear their clothes, you can't listen to their music, because those things are cultural appropriation. If you're the wrong color, in this case, white, because I'm pretty sure they don't mind other you know, cultures taking from theirs. It seems to just be white culture and white people. Um, when I was growing up, America was considered a melting pot. And you heard that a lot in school. All these different cultures come together. We all use them. And it just becomes a part of the greater American culture. Uh, and there's so many examples of that. Uh, CRT-derived uh, studies and, and curriculum seems to want to drive a wedge into that and to separate people and to, uh, I would say this is a great example of ideological subversion. So you get into the schools, you tell the black students that the white students are out to get them, that their ancestors uh, are the reasons that they're, every problem that they have in their lives, it's because of these people's ancestors and they've benefited from the pain of your ancestors. So they are your enemy. And lastly, DeSantis has told reporters on many occasions now that teachers are required to teach slavery, the post-reconstruction and segregation, and civil rights era. So they're going to get all that stuff in history just like all of us did. None of that is changing, but just listen to the hysterics of this man. And I just, it says a lot more about us than about him. And I just hope voters in Florida and voters in, across the country um, don't think that's what our country needs. It's, it's more, more bullying, more attacking on those that, that need our help and need our support. Well, no bullying and no attacking of anybody but the white students, apparently, because that's what these classes are. They definitely otherize the white students and white people at large. That's the problem with it. That's what's so insane about this white man defending. He must not know anything about these classes is my only guess here. Uh, 
or you know guys like this see it as a virtue if they come out against white people if they show that they're all about attacking white people just not them because they're one of the good ones and he's virtue signaling that by having the obama picture up there in the background he's letting everybody know look i love this black president he's my favorite i'm not a racist all, and you can tell by the way I'm attacking Ron DeSantis, calling him a white nationalist and repeating the same things that everybody else has said about these classes that I'm one of the good whites. So if you look at this, the official framework unveiled for AP African-American studies course, that means it's not going away. <laughs> it's, it's still there. Florida didn't get rid of it. OK, so they're having this segment on Florida banning a class that's not banned. So it's going to be taught over 28 weeks, covers 79 topics, topics divided into four major units available during the 2024-2025 school year, only requires analysis of core historical, literary, and artistic works. So <laughs> like CNN wants that other stuff in there. Isn't it funny how for the longest time they denied that CRT was in the schools at all? But now it's, you can't keep CRT out of the schools. It's funny how that happened. All right, so the CNN host is about to ask him a very, very basic question about all of this. And it's the reason why I think he doesn't actually know what's in the African-American Studies AP course or what CRT's place is in the schools. I think he's just repeating what other people have said. And you're gonna see that right here. Have you been able to look through this initial framework that was just unveiled because we're looking at it at the screen now? Any changes, if you have, that, that stands out to you that maybe perhaps worries you? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the details. I think it's just so important that young people have access to America's full history, that we don't hide from the, from the tough parts and we celebrate the, the good parts. <laughs> See, he, he's going, nobody's talking about that. Like I just read to you. The schools are still required, no matter what happens, okay? Still required to teach slavery, the post-reconstruction, segregation, and civil rights. We're still required to teach all that. And in fact, AP, uh, African American Studies, is not gone. She just said, here is the updated framework for how it will be taught in the schools. Do you have any worries about it? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, he doesn't know about this. He doesn't know about the changes because he doesn't give a damn. He's just here to repeat what he's been told that this is all about history, which it has nothing to do with that. Unless, of course, like I said, we're talking about the revised uh, uh, history by people like Nicole Hannah-Jones and the 1619 Project, which has been roundly criticized, which has been roundly discredited as revisionist history. And I just want to say that is like a main part of critical race theory in general. Uh, when that first started popping up in schools, it was criticized all over the place in academia because one of the main problems with it is that it didn't undergo any criticism or scrutiny. And to this day, that's still an issue. A great example of this is Ibrahim X. Kendi, who is a big proponent of CRT. One of the things he said is that you cannot fix past discrimination without future and present discrimination. So that future and present discrimination is happening now in the form of CRT getting into the schools, uh, this uh, racial sensitivity training, all that kind of stuff is CRT trickling down into the institutions. And they bring Ibrahim X. Kendi on to all these shows, but they never scrutinize him. All they do is let him get up there, uh, spew his nonsense, and then never challenge any of it. These courses have no place in high school where these kids are way Way easier to manipulate sure when they get to college go ahead take that stuff because you're an adult at that point but when you're a kid you are vulnerable your brain is not fully formed and that's exactly why people like this want to get to them because they can get to them right before they go to college get them nice and indoctrinated into their political army and then they go to college they get further indoctrinated and then when they come out they're good democrats they'll go out there and they'll they'll protest for them they'll be a part of their movement and that's what they're looking for but when we're talking about something like intelligence Intelligent design, for example. In the early 2000s, schools started pushing back against that, and it ended up going all the way to the Supreme Court, where it was eventually banned from being taught in schools. But unfortunately, people have short memories, and they would just consider it different when they do it anyway. Folks, I'll tell you what, if Ron DeSantis does become the prominent leader of the Republican Party, have no doubt that he will get the exact same treatment as Trump. And the media, Democrats, will be just as hyperbolic. They're already calling Ron DeSantis a white nationalist, so Get ready for that. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.